Hi, beautiful yoga teachers. Today I'm sharing five tips to help you choose the perfect topic for your next online or in-person yoga workshop. Now, if you're watching this before February 21st, 2022, then be sure to sign up for my free upcoming live workshop that I'm sharing with you. I'll be offering inspiration and guidance on how to take the leap and offer your first yoga workshop or one-to-one -one package offerings. So especially if you have been teaching a bunch of Zoom classes or just teaching studio group classes and you want to take that leap to a more lucrative offering where you can really connect more with your students, this is going to be a really great workshop. There will be a chance for a Q&A at the end and a replay available if you're not able to join us live. So check out the description to sign up for that now. Now, if you are watching after February 21st, you'll also see the information down below about how you can sign up to watch the replay. And if you're new to me, hi, I'm Ali. I'm an international yoga and meditation teacher, retreat leader, and yoga teacher mentor. I've been teaching yoga for eight years now, and I've been mentoring and coaching teachers for about four years. I travel and work remotely since the end of 2020, so right now I am coming at you from Sayulita, Mexico. Having said that, you might hear a little bit of the authentic sounds in the background, so bear with me there. I'm here just gearing up for a retreat that's coming up very soon, so I want to encourage you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done that. I'm sharing tons of free resources for yoga teachers, also yoga videos from my travels around the world and join me on Instagram if we're not already connected there. Give me a follow at Ali Temple Yoga and I'm sharing a lot more there. I'm there daily so I'm always happy to answer questions in the DMs too. Without further ado, let's jump into the five tips that I have for you on how to choose your perfect workshop topic. And this is really for those of you who have never offered a yoga workshop or for those who have offered one in the past and have struggled with choosing the right topic or offering a successful workshop. I know that I have I've been offering workshops for probably about six years now, both online and in person. And um, I've really been through the highs and lows of this process over and over again. So I'm looking forward to sharing more in my online workshop. But for today, let's talk about choosing the perfect topic for you. Okay, tip number one. Here's something I talk about often and I want you to do it if you're not already doing this. So for those of you who are already teaching group classes in studio or Zoom group classes online, I want you to make a conscious effort to connect and chat with your students before and after your classes. Now, specifically while you are doing this, ask your students what their challenges are related to yoga. What are they struggling with? What are they interested in learning more of? Because the students who are coming to your classes generally are going to be the ones most likely to sign up for your specific workshop. So you want to cater to those students that you're already building a relationship with. So pay attention, ask them questions, and take notes afterwards. All right, number two, don't overthink it. This is something that comes up so much with the yoga teachers that I coach. We want everything to be perfect, right? There are so many factors that go into leading a successful yoga workshop. So I don't want you to spend too much time and energy trying to figure out the perfect topic. Really tap into your intuition and go with your gut on what feels right. Keep it simple. The third tip is to choose a topic for your workshop that you really feel connected to. So not just because you see someone else offering a, a sold out workshop on a specific topic and you think that's the one you should do, but what are your interests? What are you genuinely excited about that you can bring into a yoga workshop? Because if you bring your passion and your excitement forward into this workshop, your students will feed off that and then they will get excited to join you. 
So the number four tip is to think about your niche. Now, if you are primarily teaching group studio classes or Zoom classes, you might not have spent much time on this yet, and I'll make videos in the future about your yoga niche. But just basically thinking about who specifically your ideal yoga student or client is and what they will want to learn about. And the final tip that I have for you today is to consider the bigger picture. So if you are thinking about offering your own yoga program or course in the future or retreat, then you want to start to think about what topic or theme those offerings would be based around. And then with this yoga workshop, you can kind of take one small area of that theme and create a workshop around it. So you're kind of starting big to the bigger picture and then working yourself backwards. Think about the transformation that you want to be sharing with your yoga students and then make sure that your workshop is related to that transformation. Even if it's just a stepping stone, it doesn't have to be this huge thing. Remember, keep it simple. Don't overthink it. So those are my five tips for you. I would love to hear from you. Let me know in the comments below if you have offered a workshop, if you're thinking about offering your first yoga workshop. Will it be online? Will it be in person? Both are happening right now in 2022. And I look forward to seeing you in my workshop on February 21st or you catching the replay afterwards so that we can dive even deeper into this topic. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for doing that. Find me on Instagram, say hello, and I'll see you in the next video.